All right, uh, Shalom Akim. I want to uh, give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakak, Adash. No belongs to the elders and apostles of great millstone to rule well, and much peace, safety, and blessings to the hopefully elect throughout the four winds, pushing the truth and sincerity and diligence. As uh, the brother Lord Yah from the Great Millstone Lake Charles, Louisiana, count coming back again with another quick lesson. And as always, Lord, will it be edifying to the elect? All right, so I basically want to go into a, a topic on uh, what, man, the Lord never chased uh, anyone or uh, basically had, uh, man, uh, forced the course of the river, you know? Likewise with us, okay? The scriptures tell you to uh, basically be long suffering and patience, you know, when dealing with the flock of Yahweh by Shemiah Shah. Okay, that's uh basically what we're commanded to do. Uh but but what never uh, uh chasing it, okay? You're never supposed to uh, chase someone because the scriptures tell you that what uh my sheep hear my voice, okay? Those ones that that Yahweh by Shemiah Shah have basically uh have been sanctified from the uh, the foundation. Okay, once they hear these words, they're going to receive it. And what? They're going to, uh, hey, man, uh, do the will. Okay? They're going to do the will. They're not going to have to uh, uh, be chased or uh, what? They won't force the course of the of, of this walk. Okay? They're going to do exactly what's uh, required of them. All right? Uh, according to the to what? The measure that Yahweh Bashim Yahshua gave them. Okay? And that's really uh, what I'm going to get into. So this is... Uh, Ecclesiasticus or Sirach chapter 4 and uh, verse 26, it says, Be not ashamed to confess thy sins and force not the course of the river. Okay, because you have a lot of people that, that uh, what, have been called into this thing and what ultimately they're forcing the course of the river. Okay, they don't de actually desire to do the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. All right, let me grab that real quick. They don't desire to do the will. They, they really want to do it for, for uh, vain glory and, and ultimately to please uh, people that's around them. Okay, this is a uh, uh, Psalms chapter one, and I started at the top. It says, "Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of Yahweh by Shai, and he, and in his law that he meditate day and night." All right, and these things are gonna be seen in your everyday life if you're meditating uh, on the ways and and uh. Desires of, of, of pleasing Yahweh by Shemel All right. It says, uh, he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Okay. And if a tree is planted by the rivers of water, well, you're going to continuously get nur uh, nourishment and, and growth from that. Okay. It says that bring it forth his fruit in his season. His leaf shall also not wither and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Okay. So this is basically the mentality that, that the men of the Lord is going to have. Okay, we're going to what? Delight to do the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahshad no matter what. Okay, uh, real quick, let me go to Romans the 8th chapter. All right? Not forcing the course. Okay? And and what these things are, are going to be uh done what? Naturally. Okay? Everything according to the Spirit is going to come natural, natural to us. This is Romans 8 and 35. Uh, who shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? No. Okay, why? Because we don't have to force the course. All right? We know without a shadow of doubt that what we're called into this thing uh, not by chance. Okay? Well, we've been called into this thing according to the will of the Most High. You know, it's no... Um, great. It, it, it's no um. See the right word I want to use. Uh, coincidence. You see, it's no coincidence that we've been called into this thing. And what the scripture says, we're going to make our calling and election sure. Okay, by what giving our diligence. Okay, by giving our diligence, so so that what we can be found favorable and blameless and without spot before the eyes of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. All right, by what willingly want to do this. All right. Not being uh chased or always being told. You see, when Yahweh Shah warned uh the the apostles, he didn't he didn't say uh hey I'm gonna need you to do this or hey you need to continuously come out here and do this. No, he told them one time and what they followed. Okay, they followed. In order to be a, a great leader, you have to be a, a great follower first. Okay, and what man Jake. Wants to rule it and can't even uh be a good follower. Let me see uh, so like this is uh Matthew, 
uh, chapter 4, and I'll start at verse 18. You know, just backing up that point. It's just, it says, uh, and Yahweh Shah walking, and Yahweh Shah walking by the sea of Galilee saw two brethren, Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Okay, hey, Yahweh Shah is what? Straight to the point. You see? Follow, hey, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. All right? It says, and they straightway left their nest and followed him. You see, that it wasn't no questions asked. Uh, the, the, the course didn't have to be forced. You didn't have to continuously go back and tell them, hey, man, stop what you're doing. You need to come this way. You see? No. They heard their voice, and what? They followed. Okay? The course should never have to be, um, the course should never have to be forced in this thing. And if you're forcing the course, it's, it's basically telling you that what well, you're, uh, basically going up against the prick, okay? Y'all about shimmy outside and, uh, send you forth, okay? This is Matthew chapter 10 and verse 38, all right? Because what, man, these, this, this, is uh, this, this truth is supposed to be, uh, man, uh, everyday thing, all right? Supposed to uh, breathe it. You see, it, it, this is not something we just do on the weekends. All right, this is every day. All right, this is our life. Okay, we'll come being called back into uh, uh, that 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 the the house of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. All right, and when you dwell somewhere, okay, you you're living in it. Okay, not not just when you leave out. Okay, you're always you're gonna constantly be governed by these rules. All right. And ultimately, what the, the oracles that Yahweh Hashem Yahshua set up, all right, nothing is going to change. This is uh, Matthew 10 and, th and verse 38. It says, And he that taketh not his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. You see? He that taketh not up his cross. And you, you, you shouldn't have uh, to always be told to uh, uh, pick up your cross. You see, you should never have to lay your cross down in, in, the, in the first place, all right? You should never have to be told, hey, you need to do this. Uh, hey, you need to pick up on this. Okay, yeah, we're, uh, we all fall short, you know, sometimes. But for the most part, it shouldn't be a, a consistent thing. All right? That's why the scriptures tell you what? Let every man be uh, fully persuaded in his own mind. All right? If you're not fully persuaded, you, you're basically uh, have your mind in, in uh, what, man? Uh, in doubt. Okay? You're not supposed to doubt uh, Yahweh by Shimei All right? This is a uh, Second Corinthians, um, chapter ten and uh, verse eight. So like in verse eighteen, it says, "Uh, for not he that con commended himself, meaning sent forth himself, is approved, but whom the Lord commended." You see, so you can send forth. Uh, and I'm gonna back that up with the uh, the Book of Romans. You see, you can send forth yourself and, and try to do this so much. You know, and deceive yourself, all right. But ultimately, it's of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua who's gonna give that that mercy unto. You see, this is a uh, Romans, um, chapter eight. It's like Romans chapter. First, a uh, kind Romans nine and a uh, verse. I'll start at verse fifteen. For he said to Moses, "I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion." So then, it is not of him that will it, nor of him that run it, but of the Most High that showeth mercy. You see, so if the Lord had have chosen to call you into this thing, and is going to give you uh that gift of grace and mercy. All right. You're gonna be uh working, all right. You're gonna be laboring and showing you how about Shimei that, okay? But it says what? It's not him that will it and run it. So you can't send forth yourself and, and just say, oh, uh, just because I'm doing this, I'm gonna be uh delivered. No, if the Lord didn't actually choose you, and and actually have His Spirit on you in order to do this, all right. And ultimately, what you you have to be given that measure of faith, okay? Faith is gonna allow you. To uh want to do the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, faith is gonna allow you to what go out and, and uh be on the highways and hedges and edify the flock, okay? And what you're gonna love doing it, okay? Because you know by you going out through the spirit power Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, what the elect is gonna get sealed and what this this truth is being preached throughout the four winds. So once it's uh uh 
Once they elect the seal, hey, the, the, the end is it, here. You see? We can get our kingdom. Boy, man, the Lord is not going to uh, chase no one to, to do his will. He tells you that what? None of us are needed. He tells you that what? Uh, in the scriptures, uh, he can have the uh, the stones uh, or rocks prophesied uh, to, to, to his men. You see? So how much more uh, us in, in, in needing to, to basically uh, take this thing serious? You see? You're not supposed to be uh, trying to force the course in this thing. If it's not for you, it's just not for you. All right? And that's what a lot of people are going to come into uh, realization. <laughs> a lot of people are going to come into realization as that day uh, approaches. All right? This is uh, Matthew chapter 7. In uh, verse 21, it says, Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Okay? But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. And he's going to do the will what? Willingly. All right? Not forced. It says, Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name cast out devils? And in thy name done many wondrous works, wonderful works? And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you depart from me, ye that work iniquity. You see? And I'll continue on. It says, Therefore, whosoever hear these sayings of mine and do it them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock, that great foundation. All right? It says, And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. Okay? Having your faith and trust in who? Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, because that's what that rock is. Okay, it says, and everyone that hear these sins of mine and do it them not shall be likened unto a foolish man, but built his house upon sand. <laughs> it says, and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell and great was the fall of it. And a lot of you people are going to have a, a, a great fall. You see? Why? Because you're forcing the course, all right? You wasn't really uh, chosen to, to do this, all right? So uh, with that, man, Lord willing, this uh, quick lesson was edifying to the elect. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakodash, double lines to the elders and apostles of great millstone and well, and much peace, safety, and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the four winds, pushing the truth and sincerity and diligence. Shalom.